Hi, this is Geraldine Mori, and welcome to the first edition of our uh, monthly Emerging Trend Report. So this month we're focusing on the most innovative ways designers are updating military classics and how this is influencing materials, art, packaging, print design, and uh, design details. Now, what is so interesting about military design is that it was created to ensure the highest functional purpose, which is to preserve human life and assure ultimate protection in the face of danger. And with anything concerning military equipment, um, which generally focuses around clothing, personal gear, or food packaging, there is a very inspiring and ideological consistency that has truly uh, bled into uh, the design industries. And it's the fact that that design exists uh, to follow strict specifications, such as durability, ease of use, lightness, uh, mobility, uh, that has inspired designers and artists and artisans, and the fact that objects are made for the highest degree of functionality, which generates this uncompromising aesthetic and unconditional beauty. So here we look at the most creative ex expressions and updates to classic military design staples. There's something very inspiring about military packaging, and so we at the studio we looked at uh, food rationing, and it's very inspiring to see those very minimal fonts and craft paper inspired packaging in different shades of khaki, olive green, and even uh, flesh colors. And this could really um, spur a very interesting beauty packaging concept, I think. And even when you look at holster design, there's something around the laser cutting and the high functionality of it with the grommeting that could also inspire uh, design details on garments. One of the key materials used in, um, in military in terms of uh, protection or camouflage is netting. And so here we look at concepts around intertwining and very open mesh aspects that we saw uh, with these two Christopher Rayburn designs. And what's interesting um, is the mesh is becoming very, very open, almost like strips of tape um, sewn together. And what's key here is to also look at military trims such as tape, um, cording, intertwining, lacing, and really exaggerate them and use them as a decorative element and as an embellishment. And this is a picture I took um, at the Royal Academy of um, a work by Svetlana Bokacheva, and I think this could spur some really great inspiration for um, conceptual lace, um, as well as some great ideas around 3D knitting effects. So really look again at cording, 3D surface aspects, and mixing the mesh with other elements uh, such as tape. As far as the silhouette goes, um, it's been really cleaning up. We've seen army color come into tailored looks, which has been quite interesting, especially with the, men's, the most recent menswear collections. And uh, this is also bleeding into very relaxed tailored looks. Uh, that really play on texture and color shadings, mixing knitwear with quilting, with wovens. And I particularly love this kimono jacket this man is wearing on the uh, photo here because it just is a great way to subvert uh, military inspiration. And we see the same kind of jacket, very loose, relaxed jacket inspiration um, here on this photography by Tommy Ton. And again, this is about a soft silhouette and it's key to align it with military shades of green and play with texture and fabric paneling. In terms of print, florals have often inspired cam camo prints, and uh, we found this picture at the studio of two Russian army officers. We're not exactly sure where it dates from, even after extensive research, but what's beautiful is this um, Art Deco and Art Nouveau floral inspiration on their suits and we were seeing it echo the Antonio Mara Spring Summer 16 show really nicely which also has this 40s inspired military look and I particularly love this um, outfit by design duo Gyo Yuni Kim Cho from Korea they're actually based in London and they they really played a very nice um, 
juxtaposition of naive hand-painted florals with these oversized military pockets and these cargo details and, and uh, backpack um, functionalities. Now, in terms of true camo, we've been seeing it also evolve into abstract patterns. And really here, the inspiration is satellite photography. And I think there's some similar aspects with some of the photo collaging we've been seeing in magazines and in uh, graphic design. And so there's something to be said about abstract, marbleized effects and geo-quality and bringing almost a slightly postmodern quality to camouflage prints. And in terms of accessories and you know, the importance of backpacks, now we're seeing inspiration of holsters. It's really all about this kind of holster design. It's very relaxed, but it's also very constructed. And um, it's all about this kind of oversized patchwork pockets that are using cargo details and strapping and buckles and grommets and thinking of all these kind of functional um, aspects that we see generally in uh, military accessories and bringing them in. And I love the versatility of these looks. They're both sport, but they're also high-end and luxurious, so you could really create a contrast between something that is very utilitarian and another piece that is hyper-feminine. And I particularly love this shot. It was taken outside of the menswear shows uh, this year. And here the holster design becomes part of the garment and echoes the trend that we've been seeing for convertibility and customizability. In terms of uh, patchworking and upcycling, at the studio we've been playing around with this idea and we've been customizing garments. And it's key to point out how much vintage military has inspired designers to upcycle and patchwork. And here we see it in a very kind of clean, constructed, geographic way where the paneling is quite clean, but it also influences a very kind of DIY upcycled look such as this trouser. So you can really play around with uh, both a clean look or a more weathered, washed down, lived in um, aesthetic. But in terms of art, I love the echo of this kind of patched work aesthetic with some of the graphic inspiration we've been looking at uh, at the studio. And it's about patchworking textures, um, upcycling paper, wood, and mixing them together to create this kind of um, patched work aesthetic that has even a bit of graffiti influence. Alexander Wang, I'm just going to speak, he's been, one of his signature looks has been these kind of stacked pockets, and, that, and we've been seeing it come through with other designers, and uh, so this is one of his silhouettes to the left, and the key here is the haphazard quality of the placement of these pockets, and it's influencing other menswear collections, and this is um, an emerging designer who just is graduating from uh, Chelsea College, and her whole project was around actually sustainability and the detachable qualities of these large pockets that she placed on garments. So this also ties into the detached pocket trend I was talking about. But here again, think about stacking pockets one over each other and really experimenting with size and scale. In terms of um, print and pattern and actually you know, fabric uh, treatment, painted and splattered has been key for several seasons and we're seeing it come through now in a very kind of post-punk cartoon inspired um, aesthetic. It's quite irreverent and it's really about the uniqueness of these prints because they look completely handmade. Rather, Whether they actually are or not um, is not necessarily important. What's important is the aesthetic, this kind of handmade aesthetic. And we're seeing it come through also in photography with these kind of uh, mixed media photography using tape application and layering and street textures. And this is really inspirational and brings a slightly uh, textured yet geometric aspect. And taping is definitely key as a trim. So we're looking at taping around the seams as well as randomized placements or all over placements. But it really brings a kind of artful 
and geometric edge to these um, classic utility and military garments. And we're finalized with this picture, which I absolutely love, this red strong line. This is Margaret Zhang walking the streets of New York City, shot by Le 21e. And this is such a powerful yet minimal uh, example of how to bring these very classic, traditional, time-tested military silhouettes into the future. For more inspiration, you can uh, check out Trend Atelier on our Tumblr, our Instagram, and Pinterest. And uh, you can also visit GeraldineWorry.com. And uh, here are all the credits for your review if you'd like to know more about our inspiration.